Hey everyone and welcome to a new park showcase video. In this video I want to showcase a new park which is only possible because of the release of the new save format. I am talking of course of the sequel to Pavement Land, which is Pavement Land 2. Unlike Pavement Land, which only had a measly 251 by 251 tiles of pavement, Pavement Land 2 has around 998 by 998 tiles of pavement which means it's around 16 times more pavementy. It's so pavementy, I have to come up with new words just to be able to describe this park. If we zoom out in this park, you can see just how huge this park is and how much pavement the owners were able to place down in this park. If you love pavement, Pavement Land 2 will provide you hours of fun. The walk back to the park entrance will probably also take you several hours. If you don't love pavement, well, I guess you should just look up into the sky. Pavement Land 2 has been divided into several themed areas. Over here you can see the pavement themed area of the park. It has recently been repaved to improve the pavementness of the area. The repavement saw a 81% increase in random statistics for pavement land, which was seen as a great success. There are also several attractions in the park. In one corner of the map you can find an information kiosk, where several highly trained employees can tell you all about the park's history if you don't die of hunger or thirst before you reach it. You can also get a free map in case you need to find your way in pavement land too. In one of the other corners of the park you can find a toilet, but to be fair, by the time you have reached it, it's probably already too late. The park has a large quantity of guests who all flocked into the park by themselves and definitely have, haven't been spawned in using cheats and are definitely not all trying to find their way towards the park exit. The park struggles a bit with the park rating, but that's mostly because a lot of the guests are lost in thought. This park sure gives them a lot to think about. Maintaining such a large park takes a lot of work which is why the park has hired a handyman named Jab. It can sometimes be a little bit difficult to find him and he's often not seen for several in-game years, but if you're lucky, you can find him roaming the park looking for any litter to clean up. Be sure to say hi to him if you see him. For me personally, building this park has been a life-changing experience. It took me over 15 minutes of my life to make. The journey of building this park was a deep dive into the inner depths of my soul and I made many friends along the way. A big shout out to Sadrat, the man who has also created the useful Minesweeper plugin, for teaching me the ways of console commands to fill up the park. Without those, building this park would have been a nightmare. Now, if you like this park, you can download it from the Park Showcase channel on my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. The park is quite computationally intensive though, and the amount of pavement might overwhelm your computer and your official cortex. Please sit down before you open the park. You will need an OpenRC2 build that uses the new save file format in order to be able to open the park. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a like, it will really help out my channel. And of course, if you want to see more videos like these, consider subscribing. I will try to put out a video almost every day. Alright, that was it for Pavement Land 2, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!